So when you want to make electronic music, in this case we're going to only use software synthesizers and software drum machines. We're going to put the analog stuff to the side for now and just focus on what's already in the digital audio workstation. So I loaded GarageBand up. You can have Ableton, Pro Tools, anything you can afford and want to use. I loaded the simple GarageBand up and here I loaded some different drum sounds. I did a sample of some 909s and 808s from the 80s. Now I don't have this mixed yet so some of the volumes might be a little off. Okay so I loaded up three different drums and then numerous synthesizers. This one is called Cyclop. And we'll get to that here in a second. What I did was I went, I googled free dubstep MIDI and some different items came up. I chose one and as you can see these are little packets of MIDI that I downloaded. Once I downloaded them I then dragged them into the doll and dropped them where I wanted. Some of these I have cut and pasted. For example right here these three lines these are all drums and this is what we get when I put those MIDI in and I load those drum sounds up and this is what we get. And the reason I loaded three different sets of drums if you want to know is for different effects. Like this here this is used for dubstep and electronic music effects. You hear that? That's using this effect trick. So what I've done is I've broken the drums up into three tracks so as they go they'll kind of get some different effects. I'm trying to go over that dubstep sound. This is this song is very early in the workings. That's why the the sounds are a little off, it's not mixed properly. And now after I did those drums, I loaded some MIDI in for these synthesizers. I, I mostly use Cyclop. This is a very popular synth for dubstep and electronic music. Now, I also, my microphone is shaking because I moved it out of its normal place. You might hear that. Um, I have the Effectrix on the synthesizer too, so if I shut it off, if I turn it on, now what I've done is I've done numerous spots of this synthesizer with different sounds. I've loaded MIDI, as you can see, let me unmute everything. I have multiple tracks here going on and each track is either a synthesizer or a drum machine. I tried to keep it very simple and each synthesizer or drum machine has effects to it. This is another common effect. This is a limiting amplifier to boost the sound of that synth. Remember you you don't just want you, you don't just want to have the software. The software instrument is up here or it says sound generator and the effects are down here. You want to use both to get a really good electronic music sound. And as you can see, see all this MIDI? I've cut and pasted, I've dragged and dropped. This is all free MIDI that I got online. Now of course once you get used to making your own music, you'll want to start making your own MIDI and kind of getting a little more creative and unique with it. But for now this is totally an acceptable way to start. Load up a drum machine, start loading different parts of drum MIDI, split up, split it up a little bit so that it um, has some different effects. Make sure I have this song at about 139 tempo and all these different MIDI's, MIDI packets and the synthesizers and the effects
let me actually you can pick where you want the sound to come out of on GarageBand to make this video I moved a few things around and there's too much shaking going on at the moment so let me have the sound come out of the computer instead of the speakers I wasn't thinking about that when I started making this video so we can we also have to we have to tell the garage band where the input is and the input is mostly coming from within the computer and this MIDI keyboard I used kind of a vocoder effect there. Now it's not quite pure dubstep sounding. I'm, I'm kind of taking some liberties. I, I don't like to stay specifically just in a genre. But as you can see, this is what this is what you need to make electronic music. You need the digital audio workstation. If you have analog instruments to plug into it, that's great. If not, you can use built-in instruments or buy software. Most of the software I have bought separately. Once you load MIDI packets in, you can actually adjust the MIDI. So that's nice about MIDI is you can adjust where it goes and you can also change the instrument. If you decide you want a different instrument or sound, that same MIDI, the same MIDI notes will be played but just with that new sound. So right there is the very simple basics of recording an electronic music song. Um, like I said in the article, really Google, you're going to come across problems, you might not get a sound out of your MIDI keyboard, you might need a different sound card in your computer, or you might, you might wonder why uh, sound is very low and quiet, that's why you sometimes need effects like this to boost it. Basically, the studios of the 60s and 70s and 80s and even 90s, what used to be actual equipment that people worked with, you know, now is all within your computer. And that's essentially the best way to start making electronic music, is to start with the inner software and the synthesizers, get some free MIDI online, start piecing it together at a good tempo, and just practice. The, that's how the only way you can learn music, whether you're playing guitar or making electronic music, is to practice, practice, practice. And before you know it, you'll have all this down and you'll start advancing in your equipment and advancing in your digital audio workstation and hopefully making some very good music.